Okay, is everybody ready? Let's see what today brings. Not that spready, which is good. Okay, stop's going to be seventeen fifty-five, and I don't have the entry yet, but just giving you some kind of idea here. Better if it backs up a little bit because it doesn't have a big target. So let's see. Okay, we can do 20 by 55. Do it, do it right here. Look at that, right there. Do it right now. That We barely had a second to get it. That was it. 55 is a stop, 17.55 urban. Here, and we gotta watch for 17. I said 16.85, 16.80, 16.75. Oh, nice way to start the day. Here we go, urban, 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 urban. Here. And if you want to shave a little off, you can right now. You could take half off, hold the rest, whatever. Here we go. Nice call. <clears throat> Come on, break 90. Got to break 90. Okay, low is 91. We got to break 90 to get more traction here. Again, if you just want to scalp out of that, you can. In fact, I'm going to look at the market. Seem to do this Boeing again today. Let's 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 we'll go back and look at that stuff here. Urban, here. Nice call. Sixteen ninety one is a low. We have to get through that. I mean, there is a possibility this could get to sixteen today. It's really up to you if you want to hold it that long. I'll actually be happy if we can get this down to 1660, 16.50. <clears throat> I don't know. If we can get through this area, it might get to 16. Here's six, well, 16.25. We can get through this. It's trying to push it. Here we go. 16.91. It's got to break that. It has to break the low. Has to break the low. So I'm just going to talk about the market here briefly while we're waiting for urban. You see this here? Like this should not look like this here if this was going to do this. I said the same thing Monday and I said the same thing Tuesday and I'm saying the same thing today. All right. Who's doing what? I want more move out of this, but I told you you could have taken some out just to protect yourself. And actually, it was a good stop. It was a good stop. This was this was almost one hour really down here if you just got out. But I think this is a potential to be a decent trade today. It's so weak. But here's the area that it's bouncing off of right now. Jackie's waiting. Did anyone get out? It says on its own. It doesn't need the market. Gyro got out. <coughs> Did anyone else get out with him? He said enough already. I'm taking it. 
David, David got out. David's brand new. David's new and doing great. David, did you understand the call today? Excellent, David. First trade. Well, I know you've been practicing. Very good. Oh, I know what I wanted to look at. I'm waiting for this. This. Wow, what a waste of an earnings that target was. No, this too. That is very sad. These retailers that could have been amazing trains were, and we didn't we didn't go after these other ones today. Like enough. Wow, they could have been amazing trains. Target, especially if it had gapped up right, would have been so good. All right, so let's go over the urban. Stop in this is 1755 and we will not be moving it. So we got in here, sold off right away, got the drop, tried to break, tried to break. That's where I was saying you can get out if you want because you're taking a chance if you hold this when this is holding this certain price point and not, and not moving lower, that this is the temporary end of the morning move or could be the end of the move. Um, so I'm choosing to hold this. I don't think it's being aggressive. I think it's this area that it's having a hiccup in and it just needs a little bit more time to get through it. So a couple of you got out, a couple of you are in it. And here's the market. You Like this is so heavy, it's like you were holding a rock. Like this shouldn't look like this, but it does. Wow, it's, market's gonna sell off. But again, like I was saying earlier, for those of you that came in late, if we had opened here today, we probably would have rallied and pushed back. So it's like, it's just, you know. KSS, again today you wanna do it? We didn't do it yesterday and I kinda wish we had, but by the time it broke, it was very, very late. We would've had to do it right away. Is this going again today? Eh, not. Well, it does have volume. I'm I'm not gonna do anything else today. I just just trying to try to stick with one thing here. <clears throat> so tomorrow is again the unemployment claims. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat is course from I think the pollen's bothering my allergies so I have to apologize and be coughing the unemployment claims out tomorrow morning I have to look and see what earnings are out tonight and tomorrow morning okay so if you got out of this you could retake it if you want to again 20 you could redo it 20 by 55 if you want 21 by 55 if you want you could re you retake it right here but this is it when it goes back down if it doesn't break that number then I will be out and here we go target really really surprised here <clears throat> But you know, it's so interesting. Like if you look at this chart, you can't tell this was even earnings today. It's the same thing that's happened to every chart this entire earnings season, the entire earnings season. If I lined up 20 charts, you wouldn't be able to tell me what the earnings date was. That's what the entire earnings season was. It's just so strange. And the same thing now with these today. That is bizarre, very strange. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It just is. Okay, just sitting here waiting. This is kind of snaily. I think it has a little more room to go, though. Once it can get under 1690. But if you wanted the fast trade today, it could have been done in five minutes. If you want to try to make more today, I don't think that there's anything wrong with waiting for this because this is kind of stanley and also 
It has some potential. So here's my plan of action with this. When this gets under 20, I'm gonna add, then I'll feel like it's confirmed to go lower, and then maybe we can have a big trade in this. But it's gotta get down to here. So let's wait. So 19 we'd be looking to add. You could take this again under 20 or add if you want. This looks really good actually. Here, here, take more now if you want it or redo it. Stop at 17.55. Yay, I think this is gonna break the low. Didn't, didn't lift, did not lift. So this could be a decent trade if it wants to drop a buck. Wow, that would be really, let's not talk about it. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. Let's not speak of these things. All right, 296.20, 296.35, Amazon looks like it's running out of steam. Is Apple gonna lift the overall market today? Nobody knows. All right, all right, let me look and see what's on tap for tomorrow. You're in this and you gotta wait, probably until 10 o'clock. We're just gonna sit here and wait for another 15 minutes, half an hour for this to drop on down, but it looks really good. Nice call. Um, let's see, what is today is, today is the 20th, tomorrow's the 21st. Today's Wednesday, okay. BBY is tomorrow, BJ's is tomorrow. More retailers. That's tomorrow morning. Let's look for tonight. Tonight. LBT2. EXP is tonight. I think tomorrow morning there's better ones. And then of course the, the number tomorrow. The number tomorrow is, is gonna be interesting because last week we saw moving in the market with the number. So the number has been in, dropping and we're seeing movement. So it'll be interesting to see if that happens tomorrow. I didn't look and see what the expectation is for how many unemployment claims. Friday the room is closed. Enjoy a long weekend. And if you trade alone on Friday, and I, you better be really careful. That's my two cents on that. Let me look up and see what, how many unemployment numbers uh, that claims I think they're gonna get tomorrow. Let me see. They're expecting 2.25, 2 <clears throat> is that right, 2.25? So last week, remember, they, want, they thought it was gonna be like 2.75, I think, and it was close to three. And then we reacted negatively, even though it was a lower number than the previous ones. It's ridiculous, which made no sense. Oh, you know what? I didn't look at today's CCL. I 
Anything else anybody wants me to look at? Just gotta wait on Urban, I like it. Nothing there today in that, but that's lower. This is lower. Okay, here we go, Urban. Nice call in here in Urban. So you could have, if you got out of it down there, you could have reshorted it. You could have added if you want. Stop is the same. And we're not going to be moving it, but, uh, you know, do I think this is going to 100% retrace this bar in the next 24 hours? Probably not. Not without the market. It's not up enough this morning. It can make its way back, but I think it's going to run out of time. So that's my two cents. But anything can happen. It fell so much that you can just watch it at this point. And that's pretty much why I also just let everything play out. I think the puts are going to have more momentum in them this week than this, this one call I called. And the puts were all up yesterday into the close. So you could have just booked them all. So, I mean, again, it goes back to the same thing we've been talking about in reference to the options for a while. Here we go, Urban. And the same thing for the day trades. You could have gotten out of this right away. If you're still in it, then good. It looks great. But I think with this market whipsawing around, you do have to decide what side you're going to be on. Either you're holding stuff for a normal move or you are exiting and scalping. You could have done that in this today and been done. You could have done that with the options yesterday and been done or you're holding for bigger moves and I'm holding this for a bigger move and it is working out and I think the puts are gonna as well for a bigger move but you could have gotten out of them all if you can't handle the stress of trading this type of market then you really don't have any business trading I think WMT is gonna not make it back around today but it's got two days left, so that's a long way away. None of the retailers worked right. Everything looks very heavy. Oh, let's look at JPM. This is trying to lift. I can't I can't wait to see what happens with this market by the end of the week. I really can. It's it's very, very interesting. Okay, who's still in the urban or retook it? We have to pay attention here. I don't want to go off on a tangent about a talk and then we miss our exit. 1702. So anyways, yesterday the market had a massive, was green pretty almost all day not a not a big green it was a small green three o'clock sold off like hotcakes out of nowhere so it's and like for example if you had been long the market yesterday you would have you would have never gotten out of that trade in time with any profit you would have lost you would just it would have, your profit would have been there and you would have, it would have been lost like that's how fast the market moved so this is this is what i mean what i'm saying like you have to be on the right side of things because things are, the volatility is here and it's not going away and it's not going to go away the whole summer either. It's going to be here. It's here to stay. Here to stay. So this is up. I don't think it's a problem waiting for it to go. I think it's perfectly fine. Again, this goes back to the situation as far as sizing yourself too, where you have to size yourself right and every risk in your trade should be similar or equal or as close as you can get it. Now, if you do an ad, you're like taking two trades in one, that's okay. As long as you're allowed to do two trades, that's fine. But again, Sizing is one of the things that you have to focus on and you have to make sure you're doing it right. If you're risking $500 a trade, then that's what you're risking. 
you're risking five thousand dollars in options trade then that's what you're risking you're not risking five thousand in one and ten thousand in another you see i think we're going to get some traction in this i think this could end up being a really nice day and who would have thought it would be in something like this so <laughs> Look at the market. Oh, we're waiting for that. The last one we had like this was UAA. I don't remember that. We've done like a bazillion things since then. I don't really remember. This is like a snail though. Let's look at U UAA. When was that? Oh, you know what I want to look at? BBY, which is tomorrow. That's the favorite for tomorrow. Um, I don't even remember when we did this. Did we do this here? I don't even remember when we did it. <laughs> I honestly don't remember what day we did that. Was it last week? I don't even remember doing it. That's funny. Um, okay, BBY is tomorrow morning before the open. This is the one that we could get some movement in as well. Gosh, these things are so messy. What was this bar here? 518. I'll look that up. Here, Urban. Here we go. We just broke. Again, you can get out of this right here. Nice call. Great job, everybody, if you stayed with it, and especially if you did the ad. Again, you can get out of this here, but if you want to try to hold it for some traction, we're definitely, definitely getting it. Nice day here. And low stress. Here it goes, under, under 80. So we do have to watch 1675, 1670, 1660. I want this to keep going, but I don't want to be in it all day. I think this could get to here though. It definitely, definitely, definitely could. Here it's gonna try to break 1680. What a nice, easy trade today. <laughs> that was the only thing I liked, so. Here we go. We're going to break 80. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do anything else today, but we are not going to go higher. And it's this is extremely tricky. So you have to hold the conviction, and you do have to know what you're doing. All right, here we go. Urban. And this might get some help here with the market into 10 o'clock. Again, if the market's going to flip, but the market held on all day yesterday till 3 and then sold off like hotcakes. Is it going to do the same thing today? I don't know. I have no idea, but the market's definitely heavy. So, again, 1681, 1681, you could be out of this here. This is where it gets hard. Should we? Get out of it or should we hold it? You know, if we get out of it here, it'll go to 16. It'll go to 15. <laughs> it's 
Here, 1682. Looks like. Jackie got out. Did anybody else get out? The best way I would describe this whole thing here with the things that I am seeing rallying is again, it's like climbing the wall of worry. That's the best way that I can describe the way this market looks here. But there's not much you can do about it. And again, we're certainly not going long. So you have to be patient. If you get out of the puts yesterday and just bank some money, fine. If you stay with them for bigger moves, you must be patient. You've gotta be patient. So let's see where we're going to go red today. I have to write the number in the room. 295.81. Hold on. Who else got out of Urban? Jackie got out of it too. What did I say? 295.81. Spy number to watch. Um, the only reason I'm still in this is because I think we're going to get some help here with the market right now. Now let me see if this is happening for any reason. I don't think so. But there was no reason for us to gap up this morning either. <laughs> So, I, I, and I did find some reasons why we fell at 3 o'clock, because that was such, an, such a big reaction that I knew it had to be some kind of news thing. Um, that stock, that, that whole vaccine thing, I guess, I don't know the details, but the trial wasn't sufficient or something. I don't know. But that came out, and that's what created that immediate sell-off at 3. I don't know why we gapped up this morning. I don't know why we're drifting off right now. Sometimes you can't look for reasons for everything. It's just doing what it wants. But here we are, urban. So if you get out, fine. 1681. I mean, this is a nice straight here. I just, it's really not problematic to sit with here. It's not, it's not really wiggly jiggly. It's very easy to hold, I think. Let me go look up and see. I wanted to look up that, that uh, is it BBY tomorrow or BBBY? BBY. It is BBY. It is BBY. Why did that have that bar three days ago? Let me look that up. That was an upgrade? I had a big gap up two days ago on an upgrade. That was odd. But that is earnings tomorrow, yeah. Is there anyone still in this? 
Debbie on T. Yeah, I, I mean, again, the bar yesterday, which I think I said in the room, if it, if it went all the way down to 125, it was going to be hard for us to make it. But by that time, it had completely fallen. So, like I said, I think the puts are going to be the ones this week, and not the one call. I'm glad we, I'm glad that we didn't do any more than one. We didn't do target. We didn't do lows. You know, this very well could have gone. And when you look at the market yesterday, the market didn't sell off yesterday till three. So this had plenty of time to go yesterday in the morning, and it didn't do it. This has such a long way to go to make it back around by the next two days that, like I said, it, it could, but low odds. But it definitely won't without the market. I think Amazon's running out of steam. And uh, this looks really good to drop today again. And then... We're just waiting. Today was a very easy day. Today has the potential to be a huge day. Today is a good day right here, especially if you did the ad. But I'm trying not to just get out of this because it's weak. And I think at some point the market is going to falter. Um, and then we'll see. So tomorrow the main watch is BBY. Again, I don't know what it does. It's been retail, retail all week. I think Target was really unfortunate. <laughs> there was nothing, no, no way to play this here. And it could have been a nice trade. It could have been a nice long. It could have even been a nice short. It, it really basically didn't even gap. It's like a waste of an earnings. But I sound like a broken record because I've said that probably in six or seven things we've done this season. And um, I don't think it's going to be that way third quarter in the summer, in July, once we get the third earning season. Uh, I, I really don't think it's going to be like that. Was it because of the COVID-19 that everything was strange this quarter? Maybe. We are really lucky that we got the place we got in specific stocks that I happen to see that we're going to move lower. Um, now, this is earnings, so I'm happy about that. But it is better to trade earnings gaps hands down no matter what because they tend to have very large moves and we're lucky we had the moves that we had in stocks like Boeing who's still in this urban Anyone? Oh, Shower Singer's still in it, and Dan. Well, does anyone have any questions about anything you want to go over since we have to sit here and wait it out? You got out, but you might want to go back in. Okay. Oh, you know what I haven't looked at lately because we haven't done anything with it? Microsoft. Let me look at Microsoft. And we do have a number out at 10.30 today, crude. And then we do have the FOMC minutes at 2. So 10.30 crude. FOMC minutes at two. Well, that should be interesting. <laughs> that should be very interesting. That should be very interesting, shouldn't it? I don't know if there's going to be a place for you to take this again. But even if you do, I would still put the stop at 17.55. One thing for sure we've seen this earnings season is you can't be too tight with stops. When normally I don't even think we have we would have had to give this 17.55, but I think you can't you can't 
be tight with stops right now. That's another thing. So really, this is the next area, right in here. Sitting its butt on the top of this area, 1660, 1663. If it gets down there though, it's probably gonna get down here. I don't know how long that takes. I don't have anything to talk about. Does anyone wanna go over anything, talk about anything? I have no topic ideas here. So happy to have an easy day. And we could have an easy day tomorrow with EBY. I've been walking outside, Jackie, but I think that's why my allergies are bothering me again. So pollen is a problem. So. I've been going for walks outside, that's it. Pollen is bad here, I think, in New York right now. Let's see what's next week is on tap for next week. Let me look. And anybody want to go over anything? I really don't have any topics to talk about while I'm waiting for this to go. Google Cloud has landed a cybersecurity contract with the U.S. Defense Department. Let's look at Google. CNBC reporting positive COVID-19 data in states that have reopened earliest. Okay. All right, so we're sitting in a snail. There's nothing we can do. I'm not gonna take any more of this. The low of the day was 1681. I think I'm gonna probably give this till 1015, 1030. We'll sit here and wait for it to drop. I don't really know what we can talk about though. So FOMC minutes at two, crude at 1030. Unemployment numbers out tomorrow. It'll be very interesting to see what this market's going to do. If it's lower, it's lower. If it's going to finally move into an uptrend, it's going to do it this week. Let's see. Let's see if they can do it. This is a snail, but it's going to move lower. <laughs> it is a snail, though. I guess snails are good. As long as they move. So up here, when imports is closing, that's sad. JCPenney bankrupt. Pyramid imports closing. Horrible what's happened to retail. So sad. Soon the only store left will be Amazon. Then you'll never be able to see anything you buy. 
and you'll order stuff sometimes that you don't like and you don't even know what it looks like. Is that the only retailer that's going to be left? Kind of crazy, isn't it? Seriously. This is a snail. Sixteen ninety five. Well, if you wanted to do another trade, you could do sixteen ninety five by maybe seventeen thirty. Again, I'm not adding any more. I'm trying to hold it, but you could do that. So my plan of action is one more flush through the low and just call it a day. And even 20 more cents will be worth it here with this. So trying to see what it's going to do. So let's talk about Boeing here while we're waiting for that one. Since some of you are in this. So this didn't go anywhere. Retraced 50% of it yesterday, a little bit more. Then gapped up today with the market. What are we looking to happen here? Again, another sell off into here. So you could have got out all the puts yesterday into the close if you want. Then if you waited, you're waiting for what? More of a move in here. Falling, dropping, lower. All of these setups have been happening, have been very sloppy, I'll give you that. But the reality is you can see how heavy this is today and that it was only a market reaction that it gapped up. I totally forgot that the minutes were out at two today. So I will have to watch what's going on here at that time. But here we go with Urban. You're back in it? Yeah. This is a normal play and normally what we do, but earnings season hasn't been normal. So it really hasn't been. I don't think the summer will be like that. I think the summer will be different, but who's to say? Steven's still in it. So let's talk about the areas of the market I'm watching to see. So like if we would get, get up tomorrow morning and the market would be here, we could go long everything in the world that's strong again, right there. Market gaps up right here tomorrow, we're gonna go long everything. I don't even know if this is gonna hold green today even though we're rallying, because I forgot the minutes we're at and we'll, we'll react on that. The reaction could be big. The reaction could be big up. The reaction could be big down. Let me see what else is going on. Keep us motivated here. 